really makes us appear as if we're all in this together. Jinx City leaders will now consider requiring face masks in public, but the vote won't come for another few weeks. We are glad to have you with us for News Channel 8 at 10. I'm Kim Jackson. Right now, Tulsa is the only city in the county requiring masks in public. News Channel 8's Gustavo Oguin is live now near the Riverwalk in Jinx. Gustavo, what are people there saying about the possibility of mandation of the mask there? Well, Kim, of course, we've seen a lot of resistance when it comes to these masks in Tulsa, but many in Jenks are already wearing them when they go out. Of course, not everyone's happy, but some say it's becoming more normal to see people covering their face in public. Tulsa is the lone city in the county requiring masks to be worn when in public. Jenks has a chance to become the second as the council will vote on the mandate on August 18th. Some on Main Street say they're in favor of the change. I feel more comfortable just seeing other people. It just really makes us appear as if we're all in this together. This decision will come about a month after Tulsa put the face cover order into effect. Mayor G.T. Bynum says the city is already seeing results with the number of hospitalizations dropping. The things that we're doing locally are making a difference. The data is proving that out. But we cannot get lax. Even though Tulsa's leadership is optimistic about the power of masks, not everyone is on board. I ain't really worried about it. To be honest with you, there's a lot of people that are sick. They're getting sick, and I'm not getting sick. I'm just trying to stay away from everybody. <laughs> Despite not having the order in place, about half the people walking around in Jinx seem to be wearing masks already, a few weeks before they might be required in the city. It's just like everyone's keeping their germs to themselves, you know? Everyone protecting everyone. Now, there are some shops in Jenks requiring you to wear a mask before you go inside. Of course, we're still going to have to wait a few more weeks to find out if you're going to have to wear one anytime you're in public. Reporting live in Jenks, Gustavo Oguin, News Channel 8. Thank you, Gustavo.